Hey guys, and welcome back to episode... Well, welcome back to Fairnox Plays Tech Ed on the APG server. This should be episode 12 now, I think? No, no, 11. What am I thinking? No. I, I do intend to record three episodes today, but... So we're back, and some things have changed. Let me just throw ahead this uh, dust in here. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and let my stuff kind of bulk up a little bit before I do much more with that. Some things have changed. There's a skeleton visiting today. We do have a cactus farm now because I needed so much cactus. I decided it was probably best to go ahead and create a farm for it, and I'll probably expand that later. Uh, a skeleton spotted me, so let's... Oh, no, he didn't. He just wants to invade my mine. Let's kill him. Thank you. Okay. So that's one thing that's changed. We have that now. And I'm going to show you what I've done with my geothermal storage area. This is officially the geothermal storage area. We've got another tank which is connected to the main pipeline pumping into the geothermal generator. And we've extended the initial tanks a lot. And if you can't tell, they're kind of filling up. We're going to be doing a lot of moving the pump off camera. And I'm not going to do it on camera anymore because it's going to happen a lot. Is there are going to be a lot of random pools of lava here. My cat is outside the door crying at me, but I can't really... Let her in because that would change the nature of the episode. We're trying to suck up all of this lava and this thing just does not want to do it. So I'm going to be moving this frequently I think just to try and get rid of all the lava. Because yeah. Oh! Oh no it's not sucking because it's out. It's sucking because it doesn't have any... It's not sucking because it doesn't have any energy. I promise I'm gonna do some mining soon. I promise. God, I need to get diamonds. I need that energy collector, energy compressor. Maybe I'll do that off. I don't know. We'll see how much time General BS takes this episode, and I'll may or may not do that off camera. My cat really wants in the into the room. I can't. One moment. I'm sorry, Celeste. I can't let you in. I'm recording stuff. That's my statement. Oh gosh, cats. It'd be, it'd be the exact same if it was a dog. So, dog people, it's it's not because it's a cat. I know for a fact it would be the exact same if it was a dog. I've lived with dog people. Um, I forgot why I came up here already. I came up here because we need some coal. Which we are working on right now. We're making plenty of charcoal. Um, which I think I put in my... Yeah. I put in here. Okay, that's right. That's weird. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and drop a little bit of this. Uh, no, we'll just have to keep it. We're going to have to put stacks of 16 in. I'm cooking a lot of wood to try and get as much of this as I can. And I've got another stack here that will... I'm going to keep in my inventory to remember to put in there later. I'm going to try to use mostly charcoal because it's just the most immediate reusable resource in regards to this stuff. So I don't want to use combustion engines because as amazing as they are, they tend to explode a lot easier than even the steam engines. Steam engines really don't have, really aren't that dangerous unless you are seriously overworking them, which I try not to do. Okay, so let's get this in here. Pop, and pop, and pop. I think the only time I've had a steam engine overload is when I put a bucket of lava in it. <laughs> okay, so are you going to suck up more lava? Do you need to be moved? It might need to be moved. Let's see. If I can't kind of trick it. into being the same level as other lava. Is it going to work? Kind of just trying to connect the areas here. Mm. It's trying to hit something. I think it's trying to hit the pump. Okay, we might have to move it. I don't know. I can't see any lava actually going out, but I do see a lot moving. Oh, oh, it's moving. Does that mean... 
Does that mean more lava? We're going to have more lava coming through? Yep, there it goes. Okay, I just want this lava gone. We need to have this lava gone. But, on the other hand, we have moved a little ways away from here. So what I can do, I don't have any cobblestone. Uh, what I can do is try to start bridging. Because I want to go this way. This is the direction I want to go for this next branch. And we're going to do branch mining because that's just what we're going to have to do to find diamonds. I'm going to grab this iron while I can. And maybe, I don't know, this might be a clear path right here. Okay, so I don't want to do a full 3-on-3 three -three here. I'm really tempted to because I really don't like small areas like this. But we're going to do a 2x2 two two and see, just out towards the desert, see if we can't find some diamonds. Now, I know that it is probably more efficient to go ahead and do a 2x2 two two straight tunnel. But I don't like doing that. I don't know what it is. Minecraft brings out like the, my hidden claustrophobia. And so I try not to enclose myself too much in this game. It's just one of those things that I, I cannot make myself do it. I just get very uncomfortable. Anyone who's claustrophobic probably understands this. I'm not very claustrophobic like at all. Claustrophobia is not something that I regularly have to deal with. But, mm, <laughs> okay, so I need to move around this, or I can knock out this a bit and just go around it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just knock out that there. We lost a pickaxe. That's okay. We got plenty more. Go ahead and knock out this too, and we will repair it as necessary. Mm, I want this. Ah, why is there so much of it? It's not necessarily a bad thing. Random train sounds. It's good to know that that's still in the game. Nope. Not going to get that. Okay. Just plop this here, and we'll come back for that. Okay, just because I want a decent walking path here, and then I will do this. Okay. And that will allow me to still get around that. So I just want this walking path to go around here. This is another area that I will probably relocate my pump to. I'm a little bit off yet from the main corridor that I was digging. Okay, that's the that's the direction I want to go. So let's pop out another layer here and just keep going in this direction. Okay. Not too bad. That was that wasn't terribly that was terribly dangerous. What am I saying? There's so much lava down here though. It's a good thing because I'm definitely not gonna run out of power anytime soon, but the troublesome part is just working around it. So let's give myself enough of a walking path here that I don't have to worry too much. I just want... Here's the thing. We had an incident on the server, and I saw some diamonds. Now, the incident has basically been erased from collective memory via the wonderful magic of MC Edit. I'm not going to go into the exact nature of said incident, but let's just say explosives were involved. Anyway... I want to see, I, I, I'm, because of that, I feel like there's going to be more diamond in the desert. So I'm going to dig out towards the desert and hope that I can find some. And then what I'll do is, I don't know, maybe, when I, maybe in the areas where my land is, I'll put up some iron doors and some signs and stuff like that. Whenever I dig outside of my area, I will make sure that it is in fact cardened off well enough that people understand that it is still my area. I'm just sitting, I'm standing here in crouch, freaking sneaking through completely wide and accessible corridors here. Let's get this tin. Okay, I need to a little bit further in. There we go. This is going to be the most wonky branch mine I have ever then again I don't do much branch mining but I guess any of you have ever seen uh, just need some diamonds I am still okay yeah I'm still at the proper level 12 is the proper level as far as I'm concerned for diamonds because it's right in between I think diamonds primarily start spawning at level 16 and they stop spawning 
they don't really stop spawning, but they decrease in spawn rate drastically anywhere below level 10. So I usually dig out, you know, three layers up and hit um, 15, six, or 12, 13, and 12, 13, 14, and 15. I'm standing on 12, basically. And so, or maybe I'm standing on 11. I think that's foot position. Either way, I'm at relatively level 12, so I end up hitting 12, 13, and 14 whenever I'm doing most of my mining. But I'm, with this branch mining, I don't want to spend too much time kind of just boring the crap out of you guys. So, I don't know. If you guys don't want to see me spend a decent, an absolute ton of time mining, let me know. I will try to make sure that everything I do on camera is progression in as far as tech at building. Building my compound, building my factory, building various things. Have I told you guys what I intend to do yet? I don't remember. Well, in case you missed it, and or in case I didn't, the basic plan is I'm going to become the foremost weapons manufacturer in APG land. I don't know. We we need to decide on a, on a name, a world, a name, a name for the world. But I'm going to become the foremost weapons supplier. So the basic idea is build a factory, build several quarries, and then pump materials for the building of weaponry and tools into a factory that I will then fill with sorting machine, fill with some kind of sorting system. And I, what I will do is I will pump all the materials into automatic crafting tables and then pump the crafted material, crafted item, crafted tools, crafted weapons, crafted armor into into chests, out of the crafting table and into chests. So what it'll probably do is it'll probably be a relatively underground operation. Hopefully, with any luck, it will be an underground operation. Once I get my first quarry, I'm going to set it up on my land here, and I'm going to hopefully be able to build a power plant, then the sorting room, which would be like one, lo one floor underground, then the actual crafting room, which will be a floor above ground, and then, I don't know, maybe instead of, maybe I'll set up, I don't know, just like a industry building and then turn my house, the, my original house, into a shop wherein I sell weapons and armor. Because why not? Because that would be fun. That'd be a cool thing. And it would put us uh, towards something like that. Or maybe I can even pump all the tools and equipment to a sorting room underneath a shop in the spawn town, which we will get, eventually get around to building. We are planning to build a spawn town just to make it a little bit easier for when one of our members logs onto the server for the first time. It is a very small server. We can only have five people on at a time right now, and the plan is to approach our content provider, our service provider, for um, content-based sponsoring, maybe. I want to have a decent amount of content. I'm in charge of the server, and I'm also in charge of the public relations. Not that that has anything to do with this conversation. But as the server admin, it's kind of my responsibility. If we decide to approach our service provider, who I'm not naming yet, but if we decide to approach our service provider for a sponsorship, it's my job to do that. So I'm kind of waiting until we have a decent amount of relatively well viewed content. I want there I want to be sure that our content is being well viewed. And for that sake I actually need to make a list of everybody who's on here and make sure that I'm collecting or linking their content in here. What I'm gonna do is probably make a chronological playlist of everything that's being done here on the server, all the let's plays, kind of try to arrange them chronologically. Obviously the first uh, seven, I'm going to say seven, of my episodes is going to be in there. And then it will cut to other people just here and there as things are uploaded, as things are recorded. It'll be a, it'll be an interesting project in and of itself that I'll have to work with everybody with. We're not going to say what that looked like. <laughs> um, nice little segue there. But, uh... It's going to be fun, and hopefully that playlist will... It may be only on my channel. With any luck, I can um, convince Lee to create something similar on 
APG Hub, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a public, it, it'll be a public playlist, it will be in the description of hopefully every video that is done on the server. This is something that I have to, I haven't really talked about it much with the other players, with the other directors, so I'll have to get their consent and hopefully get them behind me on this. But, uh, guys, we still haven't found any diamonds! What is going on here? Ah, oh. What is with my luck? I just cannot find any diamonds. Okay. I don't know, should we keep going? I got about four minutes left on the episode. We'll just keep going, at least until I l finish breaking all of my picks. I think I'm going to come back with some diamond picks and probably do this off camera. I just really need to find some diamond. Diamond is the major thing holding us back right now. But on the next episode, I have a plan. We're not going to be looking for diamonds. What I'm going to do is make a compressor. And a compressor will allow us to allow us access to some pretty wonderful things. Primarily advanced alloy. That's a major thing we need. Oh god, I found some more lava. Well, the good thing is I can pump all this out. Every time I find lava, I can always just come back and pump it. So that's a good thing. Let's try to just make a path around it. I don't think... Oh, yeah, there's just, this is not going to be something I'm going to be able to path around. I don't want to plant... Oh, oh, is there a land bridge? There is not a land bridge. <sighs> okay, now here's the thing. Most people would go ahead and put and either use water to turn this into obsidian... Or go ahead and just put blocks in it. I don't want to do that because I want to use it for my geothermal generators. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dig out the ceiling to a decent extent. And we are going to bridge across it. Because I do not want to destroy this wonderful, wonderful lava. Okay, put a torch there. And let's do this. Let's go ahead and keep going with the two block wide thing. Keep digging this out. Now, one could say that it is really not beneficial to me to keep doing this. Because, in all likelihood, there, is, there are some diamonds near this lava. And this is a fact. This could be a legitimate thing. I really should explore around the lava. But I'd rather pump it out first. Because then it's not as dangerous. And I don't have to worry as much about, you know, getting across it and losing it. I, I want I want the lava. I want to have a humongous stockpile of lava so that I have the necessary energy. Because when it comes to actually creating all the things that I want to create, I'm going to need a lot of energy. And with any luck, I'm, I'm, I really want to get the compressor and push towards advanced alloy because I want that energy link. Once I can make energy links, I don't need to actually use Buildcraft Energy. I can just use my geothermal facility for everything. And that's probably what I'm going to do. That is the major plan. So I'm very happy that I have the geothermal energy, and I'm going to make use of it as much as I possibly can. Because it will just be easier overall. The fact that I haven't found any freaking diamonds is just really bothering me, though. I don't know. <laughs> if we get like 20 episodes in and I still have not found diamonds, or have not found a way to make them, because I think you can make industrial diamonds, um, possibly with a compressor. I don't know if that's been removed or not. What is that up there? That's a cave. Cool beans. Good to know. But um, the point being, I don't know. We'll see. If I get to, like, episode 20 and we do not have diamonds, I will accept diamonds as a gift from a fellow APG director, if that's what it comes down to. But before that, I am not accepting any gifts. I want to do this legit. This needs to be done legit. And what I'm going to do is if I find them off camera, I'm not going to mine them. Instead, I'm going to come back, wait until I can record again, and I'm going to try to... I, I don't want to have a humongously grand disparity between episodes as far as recording, but I do want to not have too little of a backlog. So again, like, 
episode 7 is out. There wasn't really any comments that I really need to get into. So episode 7 is the most recent one that's been updated, hence this episode. And I'm, this is probably the last episode I'm going to record today. Unless I find diamonds. Then I may go ahead and give up another 20 minutes. But... So far, we haven't... Oh, God. This whole diamond situation is going to bother me. We're going to start heading back now. But, um... Time is up, guys. So, I, I've said it. If I hit episode 20 and I still don't have diamonds, I will accept a bribe or... No, not a bribe, but a gift. Just to, just to continue on. But next time, we will build a compressor. We're going to start working towards advanced alloy and get that energy link. And then I can build as many freaking geothermal stuff as I can. I just, I need, I need to get that quarry. We need that quarry. We need to have things happen. Um, I may be moving my pump relatively soon. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Because I'm seeing a lot of lava here that's just not being pumped. And it's bothering me. Here, let's see if I can't link these two. So I'm gonna pump. Okay, I may have to move that again. Well, on that note, guys, I'm out. I will see you next time on Ferronox Plays A APG Tech It. There we go. Ferronox Plays Tech It on the APG server. Be sure to check out the other guys on the server. Lee is recording. Uh, Skyrath the Great's putting stuff on his personal channel. Tease Pro and our guy Scott of Call of Duty 121, I think, is his channel, are recording. So be sure to check everyone out, guys. Give us give give them all some decent um decent views, decent input. You know, and that's one thing. I just should throw this in before I have a chance to forget to do it again. Input is highly valued, guys. Input is highly valued. Let me know if there's anything you think I can improve on as far as this Let's Play, as far as my junk and my stuff in general. Uh, just let me know. On that note, guys, I'm out. I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.